SHOT SHOW 2015. I'm at the Spyderco booth. How's it going, Eric? I'm doing well. Uh, I'm Eric Lesser, work at Spyderco. Uh, I'm going to be showing some of the early 2015 products that should be hitting the market shortly. Awesome. Uh, so the first I'm going to start with uh, is a collaboration. This is a collaboration with a, a man from Poland. He's a custom knife maker named Marcin Swish. Um, Marcin makes um, very nice knives. If you get to know his knives, much of his knives are, are very elegant in their design, very user friendly, um, but they're also very tough. Uh, he makes some, some tough use knives. And so um, this is our latest collaboration. It's our second. This comes uh, with um, a very ergonomic handle. It's going to fit the hand very nice. It's got a nice little guard in the front so it uh, captures the hand for your forward and pull cutting. Um, it's got a, a CTS XHP blade uh, that's a, a nice full grind. Uh, he did a, a nice tumble all the way across on all the parts um, so that uh, it has a nice elegant look for the knife complete but it, it's also very friendly for, for wear and tear. Um, this knife, one of the features that, that's interesting on this piece that a lot of our knives don't have is it is it the contour in the titanium. It's a, a 6AL4V titanium handle that has very slight contour. It's not a large contour, but it, it is there and covers the entire handle. And it, and it leaves a nice grip for, for the hand. Uh, one of the features he added was G10 backspacer. The G10 backspacer um, has some some grip that adds here, uh, some grip at the back that extends beyond the scale um, so that when you're holding it and you're using that back of your palm of your hand, it, it grabs the back of your hand fairly well. Uh, it has a, an integral lock uh, with a cut on the outside, uh, leaves very good strength, a nice deep pocket wire clip. Even the deep pocket wire clip is, has been bead blasted so that it has that nice elegant look. Um, but uh, it's a very ergonomic, it's a great size, it's made out of the best materials and uh, we're happy to do this collaboration with uh, Marcin Swish on his buoy design. Is that available now and what's the uh, MSRP on it? Ooh, the MSRP off the top of my head I can't remember. Um, it uh, is available now, um, so uh, it should be out on the market. I got my hand on that just a moment ago and got to try it out and it is uh, it's actually quite comfortable. That's a nice size, guys. I actually like this one a lot. And as he mentioned, it's nice and contoured across there. It's very, very subtle. You can see it's slightly rounded on the handle. Great knife, really cool. Awesome, what else we got? Okay, uh, the next one I'm gonna show is a, a knife that's coming out of our, our US facility. Um, a few years ago, we had a, a man from Carpenter come to us, um, and Carpenter is a company that, that we uh, do knife steals with, and they wanted to do a knife to commemorate their, their entry into the knife industry, something for their foundry workers to have an opportunity to buy and carry, something that was high quality, uh, and we're happy that they came to us with the project. One of the reasons they came to us with the project is they had a knife that we were producing that they liked, and they used that as a, as a basis to try to go towards this one and so with the understanding that they were looking for a knife that would be a good everyday all-around use carry knife so you wanted something in design that was good for EDC uh, but also they wanted something that was good for for a hunter um, a lot of the people that work for their foundry uh, go out and do different hunting activities uh, it had to be entirely stainless um, and so this is the package we came up with and I'll run through some of the features uh, for one, it has that nice full flat grind uh, made out of CTS XHP, which is a, a carpenter steel, a uh, very good performing steel. It's uh, stainless. Um, it's got a nice guard in the front uh, for uh, so that you're not going to slip up on the handle. And then the back is kind of tapered around so that you can hold it during normal use, but when you're going to go into a skinning type activity, you can choke up on it, get your blade up there, and, and, and you're not going to have hooks and other things in the back of the handle to get in the way. Um, so it's very versatile in, 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 in how you can get your hand all around it and be able to, to grab it for different uses. Uh, it's an open back construction so that we could keep it nice and clean. Uh, if somebody were to, to get it dirty, it'd be easy to clean and there wouldn't be debris that, that you couldn't get out of there. Uh, it comes with a, a, a Reeve integral lock, so it's titanium and it's just all one piece. The cuts on the outside, we found that it gives you a little bit more strength uh, in the, the lock. Uh, we have some nice vertical cuts there, it gives you kind of a little rib feature there, so it's, it's a very strong lock for the, the thickness of the titanium and the, and the way we built it. Uh, 
thickness of the stainless, I apologize. Um, it comes with um, a little pin in there so that when you are disengaging the lock, that you're not gonna overexert uh, the, some strength and, and bend the lock so that it becomes a problem. Comes with a deep pocket wire clip, a little lanyard for you to be able to tie something to, uh, but it's a, a completely stainless knife. Uh, it comes with this little imprint that uh, is a watermark similar to the logo that Carpenter uses um, because we do supply the materials through Carpenter and it was a collaboration with them. And so that nice pattern in there not only uh, gives it a, a, a nice look, but is also a good representation of the project that we were trying to, to get. Um, so this is a new USA made knife we call the Foundry uh, and we're happy to uh, get it out to the consumer market. Can I get that in hand for one second? Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is a really nice size, really nice weight, great steel, great materials, as I mentioned. Uh, I like it quite a lot. Did you know the MSRP on that one, too? Offhand, I don't. Not, not uh, offhand. You no. guys can find this information on Spyderco's site. You can find it all over the place online. Is it available now, though? It is available now, it is. Very nice. Cool. Excellent. Uh, the next knife I'm going to go over with you, again, is just coming out. Uh, this is a collaboration with a company in, in Italy called um, Lion Steel. They make a knife right now called the SR2, uh, which is very similar to this knife in design. And so we like the design and, and we like the makers and uh, we had the opportunity to get to work with them on this knife. So one of the things you're going to notice on this knife that's uh, separate from the one that, uh, that um, they're making is that we added our hump and our hole. Uh, the classic version that they make comes with a thumb stud and uh, so in order to spiderize the knife we added that that one hand open round hole feature uh, that represents Spyderco. Um, we have a nice G10 front scale that's been 3D machined uh, so it has contour to it and then a slight pattern so that you don't slip up on the knife so easily. It's got a nice guard in the front, a nice spread, uh, spread at the back so that when you're holding it, uh, it, it uh, it's not going to slip out of the hand very easily. Nice Nice landered hole if you need to tie something to it. The back side matches the front side in its contour and also has a slight texture on it to, to, to keep you from sliding down on it so easily. Um, one of the nice features that Lion Steel was able to do on, on um, their knife is they took this titanium reeve integral lock <clears throat> and they added a stainless interface here that, that allows for something hard that goes up against the blade. Sometimes uh, with titanium and uh, a lot of pressure you can tend to gall the lock a little bit and so this feature, this knife features a nice stainless interface uh, between the blade and, and the Chris Reeve integral lock. And, um, they they were the first to do it the way they're doing it. Uh, it has a nice other feature here that uh, is a secondary uh, roto lock that, that keeps the knife from unlocking uh, when you turn it and when it rotates out of the way so that you can unlock it, it keeps you from overexerting the lock so that you can't bend it past uh, the point that it's supposed to be so that you won't distort the lock. A nice little cut on the outside so that it has strength. It has a nice stamped deep pocket wire or deep pocket stamped clip with a nice little hourglass feature there. Um, screws in from the top uh, so that you can unscrew this and reverse the clip if you want a, another type of carry. Uh, comes with an, <clears throat> an L-Max blade steel uh, made in Italy and we're very proud to get to have the opportunity to work with them on this uh, new lion, little lion spy. If I could hold that for one second. Yeah, sure. I just think this is a really nice knife, guys. Um, ever since I saw it when it came out, one of my friends did a video on it. I thought it was just, I use the term adorable, I think, but I just love this size of knife. It's really attractive and uh, I could see that being an absolutely great everyday carry. Awesome. Cool. A couple more, I think. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go through this knife. This is a knife we've been making for a long time. It's called the Native. Uh, we've probably got about 20 years history of this knife. We call this the Native 5 because it's the fifth uh, evolution of the knife. Over the years, one of the philosophies of our company is to continuously uh, improve the product year by year over time um, and, and uh, do what improvements we can as we can. So I'll go over some of the improvements on this one over the previous model. 
Uh, one is that it's screw together construction. Uh, so it comes with two, two separate scales uh, and then the screws help hold it together. The old version had a, a single piece handle um, and a single piece handle can sometimes leave you less flexibility in what you can do with the knife and if there's ever a problem uh, it's harder to fix that problem. And so with the screw together construction it gives us a lot more flexibility uh, in what we're able to do with the knife. It has a new bi-directional texturing. Uh, we've been doing bi-directional texturing now for, for over 15 years that I can remember. And the old native had bi-directional texturing as well, but we've done a, a good job of improving the texturing. The old native used to have a two-way clip, so you had deep pocket, left or right hand carry. Uh, so with this one, we were able to make it a four-way clip. Um, and we were able to make it so that you had a three separate screws that screwed the clip down and tapped right into the liners or, or actually these are little nested um, tapped pieces that are injection molded into the handle themselves. Um, this comes with a very refined back lock. Uh, it's probably most our most refined back lock. Uh, and, and some of the features that we considered it to be refined is that it is a solid lockup. Uh, it's not going to be moving around. Um, it's got great action. Uh, when you have two surfaces, like a lock tang and a, and a blade lock rubbing against each other, um, the, the action can tend to be a challenge. So with this lock, we're able to achieve good action. We have a good self-close on it. So it's a very safe knife. It's not going to open up on you. Um, the button on here is uh, in the right location, and it's uh, fairly easy to operate. Um, sometimes when you're trying to achieve a solid lockup and a good self-close, uh, some, sometimes you tend to have a strong spring and this has a nice balance uh, for being able to unlock it comfortably. Um, for this knife, uh, we are very proud of what we were able to do with the lock. This also is the only knife that we make in our CPM S35VN, so if that's a steel that interests you, this is going to be your option. Comes in a full flat grind. Uh, we did a slight tumble on this rather than a hand polished finish. It gets a lot of, a lot of use in the field and, and uh, we wanted to make sure it had a nice finish that could last a long time and, and look very clean over time. Um, but it's just a nicely evolved piece that we've been working on for, uh, for years and we're proud to finally get this one to the market. Awesome. I can hold that for one more second. Sure. Now this is, uh, as I've been looking at the Native 5 for a long time, and uh, this is probably the version of the Native 5 that's, that's, that's sold it for me. I, I gotta get this one now. It's got everything I've wanted in you know, the full flat grind, great steel, and that, uh, that bi-directional texturing on this type of handle is really nice. I mean, that's just, just what I wanted. It's a lightweight and great feel. Um, now this, is this available just in black right now or are there other colors coming? Uh, it is available just as you see it now, but there are other available uh, versions coming. Uh, one version will be an all black version that should be hitting the market soon. We're going to also have some versions that, that offer serrations. Uh, we're also working on a version that uh, will be coming out in 110V with a, a, a dark midnight blue and so that should be hitting the market as well. So because it's a, a knife that, w that uh, stays in our line for a long time and we've been evolving it for years, there will certainly be uh, variations of this knife to come. This is kind of a standard for Spyderco, so if you don't, if you, well, unlike me, don't love this particular version, you'll probably see a version you do love in the future. Awesome. Uh, this knife is not yet on the market, so it's a, a little bit of a preview. It won't be coming out uh, for a couple months. We had a, a guy named Daryl Caston contact us, and he had a nice design, and uh, this, this represents it. What it is is a single-scaled knife. Um, it comes in a full titanium scale. Uh, this backspacer here is integral in the titanium, uh, so you we're able to get it very thin um, and uh, it gives you more flexibility in being able to fit that blade in into a smaller package with a lot of blade. Uh, as you open the knife, it has a liner lock that engages, uh, so it is a locking knife. Um, it's easy to access the blade uh, with the way it's, the hole is there and, and uh, the way it's ground and made. It has a nice single bevel here, so on the back side it's flat. Uh, it does have a very good cutting ability. Um, this is made out of CPM S30V, a uh, titanium back scale, and it has a nice little custom pivot on there to give a, a ni nice added feature to the flare of the knife. 
um, but uh, should be hitting the market in the next few months. It's called the Square Head, uh, and we're anxious to get this one to the market. With this nice little uh, landard slot too, it gives you some real flexibility in, in how you want to carry it and what you want to tie it to. Very nice. I can see this being a very handy knife for small kits, for, you know, maybe a small EDC, things like that, you know, situations where you can't necessarily carry something larger and you want to have a really tiny knife in the bottom of your pocket perhaps, this could totally fill that role. Yeah, quite often I'll carry it in uh, in my little coin pocket. Yep. It's a great fit. I can see that. Okay. Cool. A couple more, I think. All right. Uh, this one is a, a new collaboration we're doing with Farad Mir. Um, one of the things that Farad's known for is big knives. Uh, this is actually a light a light knife when I consider a lot of the knives that uh, Farad makes because he was able to do this one with just two pieces of titanium and two screws. Very simple construction, not a lot involved. Uh, very simple in, in, uh, in its construction, but very functional. So it comes with six AL4V titanium scales. Uh, it has this nice uh, Reeve integral lock that has this nice flare to it that'll give it a little bit of look, uh, but it's a very solid lock. Has an over travel stop pin so that if you are disengaging the lock, you're not going to over travel it and, and de deform the lock. The cuts on the outside because we find that to be a little bit stronger. Has a nice slandered hole to tie something to. Uh, comes with a single position clip. Uh, another nice feature about this one though is this is the only knife that we're making out of CPM 10V. Uh, it's just a tremendously hard steel. Um, it cuts very well and it's uh, one of the preferred steels that Farad likes to make his knives out of. Uh, one of the features as well is that it has a rounded top here. And though it is elegant in its look, it also has a purpose. Uh, if you are using the knife for long periods of time, that nice little curve there is going to keep your thumb from, from uh, wearing out too quickly. Uh, a full flat grind um, and uh, ergonomically and functionally, uh, it works uh, very well. Nice. As Eric mentioned, uh, the rounded top up here, some of you guys say, why no jimping? Well, he just explained why no jimping. It's not so much a uh, kind of knife that you need that thrusting for. This is something that you're gonna work with. And if you've ever used a knife for long periods of time with your thumb up there and you've got some sharp jimping, you'll notice, and, and I've done that a couple of times, that you know, your thumb starts to get a little raw, it gets a little painful, so having a nice rounded spine up there can be really nice. What about this right here, these, these uh, little teeth? Uh, they, they really don't have a purpose besides their aesthetic look and that they, we have the ability to do it. Yeah. Um, and so it functions just as well as a straight line and so uh, Farrah thought it would be a nice touch to add the little squiggly in there. I love it. It's awesome. Very cool. Did you say this is available now? Uh, it is available now uh, and we're, we're happy to, to, to ship it. But I don't remember the price off the top of my head. That's going to be something you'll have to look up. They'll find it. Don't worry about it. Cool. Awesome. We got one more to touch on before we say goodbye. This is? Uh, this is the Aquasalt. It's a variation of a, a knife we used to make in the past. Uh, it comes with an injection molded sheath, uh, an injection molded handle, and then the blade uh, is injection molded uh, into the, the handle. So it's all one piece. Um, the, the knives in the past came in a different color um, and, and we discontinued it. And we had a lot of requests, particularly from the military, that we bring back the knife because it's just an all around great purpose knife. Uh, it's balance, it's size, uh, and what it's designed for just works well. And so this one's made out of H1, uh, comes with a DLC coating, bi-directional texturing, nice landard hole if you need to get something into it. Um, when you're using it, it's got a nice guard in the front, a good hook in the back, a nice flat top so that you're not going to be wearing yourself out too easily. Uh, when you put it into the sheath, it's a nice lock-in. You can take the sheath and you can put it on both the, the, the clip on both sides or rotate the clip for a variety of different carry options. Uh, but it, will, it will not rust because it's entirely rust-free materials like our H1 blade. So uh, it will um, also perform well. Uh, and it's really just a good all-around use knife for just about any chore you're going to need. Um, and that's why we reintroduced it. I love the size. I absolutely love the size of knife. Um, many of the fixed blades I, I prefer to use are around this size. And when I can get one that's lightweight, this quick in hand, it's just you know very, very attractive to me. I love that thing, man. Really nice. 
Well, thank you. We're proud of it too. Now you said that's available now. It is. It is. All the products that we've gone through, except for that little square head, have, uh, are available now. Very cool. Spiderco booth at the end of Shot Show 2015 with Eric Lesser. Thanks for coming to visiting us. We're in the home stretch. Thanks All very right. much. And we're definitely saving the best for last today. Thank you, sir. Spiderco Shot Show. See you later.